What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tectrix back with another video and today we're going to show you how to change location on your apps like Pokemon Go, Tinder, and Facebook, Instagram, and much more. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come, of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Today we're looking at Tenorshare iAnyGo for Mac or windows go ahead and link i'll link this down below so go ahead and download this if you want to try this out yourself there's a lot of ways that you can use this there's different apps that uh, uses a location based like pokemon go ingress uh, facebook even trying to get a match on tinder basically this will change your location to wherever location that you want in pokemon go you'll use this to have a joystick and uh point to different locations so for example you can have multiple locations you can uh, automatically get your player to walk to a certain location as well so that you'll be able to uh, catch pokemons freely without uh, touching anymore or anything like that you, you'll be focused on your game um, fully focused on the game and uh, the, get all those uh, gains uh, pokemon pokestops and also all the pokemons around your area you can also teleport around the world uh, wherever you want. So my favorite spot is San Francisco. I'll show you that later on on how to do that. And you'll be able to do that, uh, no problem. Here you can set fake locations on your iPhone or iPads. Simulate a two-point route, a multi-route movement. Simulate a speed of walking, cycling, and driving speed as well. Uh, pause the mo movement at any time and historical records uh, there's records of any coordinates that you want to use for later on. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Here we go. Oh, and you can also get 30% off link down below. Uh, so we're going to try out the iAnyGo today and I'm going to show you guys how well it does. So basically what we'll do here is we're going to use this to play Pokemon Go. Here I'm going to launch my Pokemon Go in a second here. But look at the screen here. Our location right now is Edmonton, obviously. But we want to see if our if our spot here will, will change. So let's go with destination. Something small for now. Let's see. For example, we wanted to change our location to... Uh, let's go with Calgary, which is just another city here in Alberta about three hours away here we go Calgary Alberta Canada let's check that out so let's just go to Chinatown here and start to modify as you could see here our Pokemon Go starts to change the location of where we are let's check the location if it's actually the right spot there you go third Ave it looks pretty pretty good the river is about here up here right right there I should be good so now let's make it more interesting let's go across the world here uh, let's go with San Francisco there you go oh I spelled that wrong press enter California right there and then we're gonna go to our favorite spot to spoof there you go right here and then let's start to modify so as you could see there our player starts to move in San Francisco. There you go for changing of location. That's the uh, one feature that they have. The second feature is the single spot movement, which you can select the start and end points and the GPS will move along and plan route at the specific specified speed. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and enter that. Check that out. Here, as you can see, you'll see our location here which is in Grotto, in Fisherman's Wharf right here, Fisherman Grotto right there. So what we'll need to do is look for a, a second location in our map. Let's say we wanted to go to Aquarium of Bay right there, and then you'll choose the speed that you want. For example, uh, two miles per second or seven kilometers per hour, up to a car speed, which is 36 kilometers per hour. Or our start point, let's say, where we are right now and then let's go with endpoint by clicking that to aquarium there you go <laughs> did it better this time 
and then we're just going to go with 2 miles per hour per second and start to move. Now the best thing about this is it'll follow a route of the actual road. It won't be just uh, plain straightforward like that. During this time you can go ahead and catch some Pokemons if you want. Like so. Turn that off. Meanwhile, your player is still moving through the map. That's pretty good. As you can see here, I was able to catch a Pokemon with no problem at all. So before you do this, make sure that you are not uh, shadow banned first. Shadow banned means you've, or, let's say right now, I've caught a Pokemon here on this location. Therefore, I won't be able to teleport anywhere else. I'll have to stick in San Francisco for the most part, in and around San Francisco, and um, so that I don't get shadow ban. To eliminate shadow ban, you need to you need to uh, stay in one area and just play there. So, for example, you found a right spot, for example, in Japan or uh, in China or whatever. Make sure to just stick to that place and not teleport anywhere else. If you want to teleport, though, what you need to do is wait two hours first and then teleport after that. So there you go. As you can see here, you'll be able to spin Pokestops, no problem like that. Boom. There you go. Catch more Pokemons just like that. And you're good to go. The other feature that iAnyGo has is multi-spot movement. Basically, it will let you uh, pick multiple spots in your uh, map and uh, walk along uh, that route. And you can, you can also change the speed on that. So that's pretty good. And now we're going to go and pick a route. So here, by clicking, this is our location right now. By picking the route right here, you'll be able to, uh, let's say, let's go to Aquarium Bay right there. Or let's this is this is gonna give you the straight line right there, but let's say you wanted to do you want to pick a certain spot in the map for example uh, bring it here and then maybe the next part is go to USS Pam Pampinado right there, and then let's go down again to Fisherman's Wharf Hotel right there. Now here as you can see you'll be able to pick multiple spots in the map, pick a certain speed as well as you can see there. And then start to move. Let's let's try that out. And there you go. Now this will uh, make you make your player uh, move at a straight line unless you told it so. But the whole thing about this is you'll be able to pick uh, certain spots in the map, not just one spot to another. So that's pretty good. So again, as you can see here, you'll be able to. Uh, You'll be able to catch Pokemons while you're at it, just like that, and you're good to go. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Pokemon Go right at home. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come or tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. I hope you guys have a good day. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Have a good day. Peace.